Well, hello there, humans of busy other things, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to the channel. And this video is a huge whinge fest about the T92E1, specifically the fact that it has missiles and the fact that they are completely wrecking tier 10 and tier 9 games on a consistent basis. That one tank, one tank in the entire map dominates and decides who wins the game despite the fact everyone else has to play to the same set of rules. Uh, this is a 2v1, and these guys never had a chance. This guy is going to, it's not his fault, and the rest of our team's happy enough to have it happen, is going to just sit here and fire on two TDs without taking any damage and without really even giving them the opportunity to be shot at. And it's the TD's fault because, I don't know, what they didn't have enough... They didn't take the crew skill enhanced sunroof armor on their new V8 sports car. I mean, everyone else in the game deals with the same armor mechanics apart from this tank. Like, or the Sheridan, obviously. Um, why does this even exist? Like, what earthly reason is there for this being a good thing? If, you ever got, if you've ever played World of Tanks PC, you'd know that the biggest bane in World of Tanks PC. And one of the reasons why I hated it so much was the slow gameplay that quite often is brought about by... Oh, there you go. Have 500 um, for the sin of being spotted. Um, was that you had artillery. Uh, it, it made people very, very alarmed about being spotted and such. And they, they would sit at the back of the map and they'd click, 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 click on like a battleship grid square. Look at this poor guy. Like... Nice, yeah, nice. If this is nice, I don't want to be good. Um, this is like artillery. No one else has this. There's no way to counter this apart from not being spotted, like, or not moving, or it's, it's just we're in a game that's, there's, what, 400 other tanks? And two tanks get to do this. And everyone else whose tank is built specifically towards being armoured from frontal fire, side fire, angling, um, using gun depression, all that kind of stuff, throw it all out the window. So I went and played a single solitary game then in the T92E1. Now, there's a, the reason I'm specifically pointing this tank out is it is insane that this tank sees tier 8. I played one game in this tank, and it was this one. And I, I, I just want to point out, this is a tier 9 match. There are four T9s in the game. Do you see what they are? There are four T92E1s in this game. Wargaming, if you're paying attention, the reason there are four T92E1s in this game is the tank is broke AF. It is completely and obnoxiously broken. And I'm going to show you this gameplay because this is the T92E1 just used as a standard APCR firing tank. That's all I'm going to do with this. I'm just going to fire good old chunks of APCR at people and play it like an, a big boy T49. And you know what? It smashes like that. It absolutely smashes. It doesn't need missiles. It should have a heat round, just like the T49 in its secondary slot, that does heat damage mechanics and not this crazy missile and high-value APCR. Like... There's no negative in the tank already, and then you give it that mechanic where in specialized situations like that, it just ignores all the rules of gameplay, apart from... It's just an atrocious, atrocious, atrocious balance decision. It's as stupid as when they put the Helsing and the Dracula in, um, but worse, because it's a mechanic that no one else gets access to. I... That's a tier 8 heavy. Like, there's no worries going through the front with your standard rounds. I, at the moment, am like the tank on my team with the biggest alpha. I have the best camouflage, and I am the fastest. Explain to me, please, why this tank needs missiles. It's literally like having a 65 kilometer an hour TD that runs around and belts people. It's not about the DPM. DPM is a very flawed stat in this instance. There's been many, many tanks throughout the history of Blitz that have 
low DPM but excellent alpha damage and have manufactured monstrously large scores because, in terms of damage because basically if you peek a boom and you only come out when you have a shell in the gun then DPM is just a number that the other guy has and you don't have to worry about it. You Like the old IS back in the day that was incredibly powerful was exactly the same. I don't know what is going to get done here, if anything, but missiles are a pile of bollocks. And that's it. Stay safe out there, you grubs. Until next time, bye for now.